Hello and welcome back to Mrs. Hauk's math class. Um, before you begin um, following along with my math lesson, make sure that you have done your extra math for those of you that are supposed to be doing that for your teachers. Um, today we are on lesson five. We are still dealing, dealing with positive and negative numbers on a number line. And we're going to look at what we call opposite of a number's opposite. Hmm. Let's go ahead and look at problem number one. Number one says, locate the number negative 2 and its opposite. Okay, so remember, in order to locate it, we have to start at 0. Negative 2 means we're going to go back to, we're going to put our dot. Positive 2 means we are going to go start here and go the opposite direction and put our dot. Okay? Negative 2 and its opposite. All right, let's move on to number 3. Or, I'm sorry, number 2. Number 2 says we are going to write an integer that represents each of the following. Remember, integer means a number. All we're going to do is write the number. 90 feet below sea level. My hint is below. That makes me know I'm going to have a negative, and the number is 90. Some of you on your math quiz were wanting to make up your own numbers. Make sure you use the integer that's in the story. B, $100 of debt. Well, let's see. If I have $100 of debt, that means I owe somebody. That would be a negative thing. So negative 100. Let's look at problem C. 2 degrees Celsius above 0. My hint is above. That means my number is going to be a positive 2. Okay, so if you notice, I've moved my books. So we're going to go down to problem number 3. Number 3 says... Joe is at the ice cream shop, and his house is 10 blocks north of the shop. The park is 10 blocks south of the ice cream shop. When he is at the ice cream shop, is Joe closer to the park or his house? How could the number zero be used in this situation? And explain. So I have two questions. I have two questions here that I need to answer. Okay, so I'm going to number those. Well, I need to kind of have a little visual aid here. So, Joe is at the ice cream shop. So, here's my ice cream shop. Ice cream shop. Okay, it's at the ice cream shop. And his house is 10 blocks north of the shop. So, I'm going to say his house is over here. And we're going to say this is 10 blocks away. Okay, so go ahead and make your little example. And then it says the park is 10 blocks south. Well, if this is north, south is going to be the opposite direction. So I'm going to go this way. And it says that this is also 10 blocks. And I'm going to say that this is the park. Okay, so go ahead and pause your video so that you can get this um, drawn in your book so you can understand. Our first question was, when he, when he is at the ice cream shop, is he closer to the park or his house? Well, if you notice, they're both 10 blocks away, just in opposite directions. So for question number one, I put, he is, at, he is the same distance from his house and the park. Remember, pause your video so that you can get this written down. The second question says, how could the number zero be used in this situation? Well, for me, I think zero would be right here. And so I put zero represents the location of the ice cream shop. Once again, pause your video so that you can get everything written down and then you can join me on the next page. Okay, so if you notice, once we flipped over to S17, we have a number line here, and I have found that it's going to be helpful if we go ahead and number our number line first. Um, it will help with the questions above. So if you want to go ahead and pause your video, um, we're going to go from 0 in the middle, and we're going to go to positive 8 to the right, and then we're going to go negatives, and we're going to go to negative 8 on the left. So if you would pause the video so you can go ahead and get that numbered, and then that will help us on the top portion. Okay, so once we have it numbered, we're going to look at these questions. What number is 8 units to the right of 0? So I go to 0. If I go 8 units, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, I get to the number 
8. Okay, makes sense. A little bit of a review. B says, how can you, illust how can you illustrate locating the opposite of 8 on this number line? Well, I can illustrate it um, because the opposite of 8 on the number line by counting 8 units to the left this time. So I want to go opposite. So I would start here and I would go to the opposite 8 and I get to negative 8. So how can I illustrate? Start at 0 and move 8 units. This time we're using the word units to the left of 0. Okay. Remember, if you need to pause the video, you can do that, please. We'll look at this. Start at 0 and I forgot the word move. Good thing I'm checking my work before I move on. Start at 0 and move 8 units to the left of 0. Alright, let's move on to C. Well, what's the opposite of 8? Well, here's 8. Opposite of 8 would be negative 8. Okay, so far so good. Now it says use the same process to locate the opposite of negative 8. What is the opposite of negative 8? Well, if I move over here, negative 8. Okay, so here the opposite of 8 was negative 8. The opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. So go ahead and put those arrows on your number line and put your answer 8. Hmm. So let's look at this. We had the opposite of an opposite of a number is what? Okay, so I started here at 8. I put one opposite and I got negative 8. And then the opposite again put me right back to the same number. It took me back to what we call the original number. So go ahead and write the words the original number. Okay, so whenever I go and do the opposite once, twice, I'm right back where I started. And we're going to call that the original number. Okay. Nope, you're fine. All right, so we're going to move on here to the exercises on the bottom. It says complete the table using the cards in your group. Well, we're not going to actually have cards in our group. I'm actually going to do this with you. So what I'd like for you to do is um, you may X out here the person. And the first number we're going to use is the number 4. Okay? If I gave you the number 4, would you be able to tell me what the opposite of 4 would be? The opposite of 4 would be negative 4. So we're going to write here that the opposite of 4 is negative 4. Now what we have here is we have the opposite of the opposite of the original number. So opposite and opposite means I'm going to have to write two negatives. So I have here the opposite of the opposite of my original number. And because I have two negatives here together, we're going to put parentheses so we can separate this. We're writing something which we call an equation, which is going to be an equal sign. So let's write the word equation. So we're starting here at 4. We did the opposite of 4. And now we're going to do the opposite of this. So we went from 4 to negative 4. The opposite of negative 4 is positive 4. Okay, we're going to do a couple of these together. Let's try another one. Let's go ahead and put on here the, mm, let's put negative 6. Okay, so we're going to look at negative 6. Negative 6 is right here. What's the opposite of negative 6? Well, the opposite of negative 6 is positive 6. So let's put positive 6 right here. Now I want to know the opposite of the opposite of the original number, which was negative 6. So I want to know what the opposite of the opposite 
of my original number, which was, my original number was negative 6. So look at all this. Let's put that in a So I have the opposite of the opposite I have of my original number, and we found out that we ended up right back here, opposite right here, was negative 6. Okay? We're going to do these all together. Okay? So let's do, since my number line is getting a little crazy, let's put on here the number 2. Okay? So I start at 2. What's the opposite of 2? The opposite of 2 is negative 2. I want to know what the opposite of the opposite of 2 is. So I want to know what the opposite of, what was my opposite? My opposite here was negative 2 of 2. And I found out if I started here at 2, and the opposite of 2 is negative 2, the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. What if I would do 0? What's the opposite of 0? The opposite of 0 is 0. What would be the opposite of the opposite of 0? Well, everything would be 0. Okay. We're going to do some more practice with this. Um, let's go ahead and move down to problem number 1. Let's see if I can get a little bit. It's kind of blurry here a little bit for us. Okay, it says here, write the opposite of the opposite of negative 10 as an equation. So if you remember, the word opposite of the opposite of negative 10. My original number here is negative 10, so I'm going to write negative 10. But you will notice that I have here, I want to know what the opposite of the opposite of negative 10 is. So I'm going to write that as an equation like this. I have here two opposites. That means I'm going to need two negatives. Opposite of the opposite of my original number. Now this is a little confusing to solve on here, so I would probably look at a number line. So my original number is negative 10. I have here my original number, and I'm going to go opposite once, opposite twice, and I'm back at negative 10. So once again, I'm back to my, what we called the original number. Okay, I want you to go ahead and cross out problem number three. The only homework you have this evening is to practice your extra math. We are going to do some more practice on this tomorrow. Um, this is just kind of getting you ready for what we're going to look at doing. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day.